addition to the fishing pole. Keishan realized, I'm not out fishing, but today I have a bait recipe for you. So imagine this, you want to go fishing it's Saturday morning, you go to the local bait store, and you go there and they're out, of, they're, out of, they're out of minnows. And then you go to your local Walmart, and you go to the local Walmart, and they're either one, they're out of worms, or two, the worms that are left there are dead. What do you do? You want to use bait. You could use artificial lures, but if you're like me, you have a lot of success with live bait or cut bait. So I'm going to introduce you to a recipe that is cheap, takes a little bit of prep time, but if you do it right, it'll work. What am I talking about? Stay tuned. So what I'm going to teach you to do is we're going to teach you how to use a salted bait. This is something I really was not aware of. It is something very easy you can do, and it's pretty cheap. So the other day, I went down to shore, and I was fishing for tog. I was using shrimp for bait. And the problem with it was, is that I kept freezing and refreezing the bait. So it got really mushy. Had a hard time staying on the hook. I kept losing a lot of the bait and you kept rolling through the bait a lot faster. This is a way of preserving your bait. And it's a way of making it last longer on a hook. And you can keep it. So if you salt a bait, the bait can last anywhere between four to six weeks. And which is pretty good now if you're using minnows you need an aerator if you're using worms you got to keep them out of the sun this is one way you can use a bait and preserve it for a while if you're going to go back to the same spot the next week or a couple days later you can use this i'm going to show you how to make this salted bait uh shrimp's perfect you can also use squid or anything else that you have laying around the house you can even use chicken you can even use uh, bait fish. But for this particular recipe, we're going to use raw shrimp. You want to make sure it's raw, make sure it's not cooked. And you're going to use regular kosher salt or sea salt. You don't want to use salt that's iodinized because apparently the fish don't really like that. Now, any container will really do. And what you're going to do is you're going to pour salt into the container and you want to make sure that it is about twice the thickness of whatever you're using so this is about a half an inch maybe about an inch on the bottom here and over top you're going to sprinkle more salt you're going to let that keep for about 24 hours or so you can put it in the back of the fridge and you have a bait that's really sturdy it's going to last longer it's not going to degrade if I left this out in the heat it would smell it would stink I'm not saying this wasn't stink but you know um, but the bait that you're gonna wind up with is a lot tougher it's more rubbery but is the same consistency as this the idea is it's gonna stay on your hook a lot longer and it's something you can keep over the course of about a month and I'm gonna show you what it looks like so this is the finished product this is what it looks like after about I let this sit for about 48 hours, but really all you need is about 24 hours or so. And it's really, it's really tough. The idea behind this is, is it stays on the hook a lot better. You don't lose as many bites. You don't lose as much bait. And this is the container I used. You can use anything really. This is a recycled uh, takeout container I used and it worked fine. You can also recycle the salt. You can reuse the salt again if you wanna do the same thing. What the salt does is it draws the water out of the bait or whatever you're using. And it also prevents bacteria and stuff from growing in it, which prevents it from breaking down. So, which is exactly what you want. Now you can use the fresh stuff and it works great but in this case, we want it to last longer. If you do buy shrimp and it has shell on, head on, tail on, you want to take all that off. I was fortunate enough to buy one <laughs> little container with it all set up so I didn't have to do any of that. It's not, a real, it's not a big deal. This is something your kids can do. If your kids get bored, if you're at work, you can call them up and say, hey, you want to salt some." Whatever we got in the fridge, we can use it come Saturday morning and go fishing. 
You can also use this for chicken livers, which if anybody fish with chicken livers and catfish, it's awful hard trying to keep that on the hook. There's rubber bands you can use, you can tie it on, you can use uh, like surgical thread and stuff, but this is easier, to be honest with you. It's a lot less muss, a lot less fuss, and in all the reading I've done, the fish really don't notice a difference. This will probably keep anywhere between four to six weeks. And like I said, if you go to your favorite spot on Saturday, you go back next Saturday or a couple days later, this should be fine. What I probably would do is put it in a Ziploc bag, throw it in the fridge just to prevent it breaking down anymore. But yeah, salted bait. Future fishing. Uh, there is a YouTuber that does salties and market them. If you ever watched Hey Skipper, he does market these. But there's no reason why you can't do this at home. Save yourself a little bit of money. Maybe just catch some big fish. So everybody, happy fishing. If you haven't, please like, please subscribe, please share. And uh, if you do use this bait, let me know how you do. Am I on? Okay, I got blood on my shirt. You're asking, no, my wife didn't disappear. I had a good day fishing. Stay tuned.